Hello, YouTube. Darkness edition. A lot of people out here. I'm doing my work, my business stuff. There's a lot of people out here. Uh, just roaming the streets trying to figure out life without God. Now, don't get me wrong. The most high can be hard to understand at times, and that's coming from his prophet. But trying to navigate through life without him is even more of a tedious task. But I want to talk to you about environment on this one. I know most of y'all who graduated from school, you took algebra class. You took algebra. Let me just pull over for a second. Wait, let me see where I can pull over. Because I don't want to go get the goods while I'm talking about this. But you took algebra class. And you know that 10 positive uh, plus... 20 negative is zero. You ain't getting nowhere. You also know that 10 positive plus 30 negative is 20 negative. You ever notice how a person could be somewhere that you ain't never heard of, like Lost Rabbit, Mississippi, or something like that, and make the same money as a person that's in St. Louis, Milwaukee, Detroit, but the person that's in St. Louis, Milwaukee, Detroit, check the check. And the person that's in Lost Rabbit, Mississippi, Muscle Shoals, Alabama, or somewhere that's more laid back, will have a bankroll. Why did this happen? It happens because of environment. Environment is key. You want your kids to be safe. You want your spouse to be safe. You want your parents and sisters and brothers to be safe. You can't control them because they're going to live where they live. But environment is important. And sometimes we get caught up in the... Let me just pull over so I can finish this without all these eyes in my face. The other... Uh, contractors but sometimes we get caught up in the American dream that is buy a house get a car etc and so forth but your environment is key so you can't control the Karens and the, the races if you black I don't, me personally, I don't even think you should worry about that. Just, just be careful. But the crime, you don't want to be around crime and the negativity. I'm tough. I'm a tough guy. I'm raised a single parent. I'm tough. I got a gun. I got 10 guys backing me up. That's what you want to avoid, see? Because you don't realize how much that is affecting you even though you say I ain't, I ain't worried about it it's affecting you your, your daughter going to school and ain't nobody playing with her outside or your son going to school ain't nobody playing with him but then he goes somewhere like uh, Glendale Arizona or somewhere more suburban and sometimes you have a, a set of problems there too. But the opportunity, the chances of the quality of your life improving are very great and significant. Then if you in like got your kids in public school somewhere like Milwaukee, which is where I'm at, or got your kids in public school in somewhere like Detroit or Cleveland or um, St. Louis or Newark, New Jersey. 
it's not gonna be the same, man. Your dollars ain't your dollars is gonna be you have to be extremely positive and extreme positive vibe, which is impossible because you're gonna be crossing paths with disgruntled, angry, trying to prove themselves in the wrong way people. And you can feel it when they come around. Like you could just be in the store getting some gas. Here they come. They little hairstyles, they little, little urbanized life. Here they come. You minding your own business. Here they come. You might speak or say, excuse me, no response. Poor manners. You eventually going to see something like somebody getting shot. And trust me, man, I grew up on a street called 19th and Hampton, right? But here's the difference with my neighborhood. Yeah, we was, you know, we was street guys, so to speak. But we all grew up over there and we all learned from a young age to respect our neighborhood. So worse we was doing coming up, we'll fight each other, but I don't remember, I remember a couple times it almost happened, but the guys that grew up in my neighborhood were not shooting at each other. If we had a problem with each other, we fought. And then like eventually it went away. People got cool again because we all grew up over there. Like that's the way it was. And you couldn't come from the outside talking about, I'm going to take over the neighborhood because it's going gonna, gonna to be you against all of us back then. So nobody ever tried it. But now it's like you got all these single mothers, they tatted up and they cussing and this, that, and they messing with crummy guys who won't get a job, who just want to act like they hood. And the environment tum tumbles. <laughs> Horrible environment. And your dollars, you like, dang, man, I make this money. Why my bank account? I'm saving money. Why my bank account ain't growing like that? It's your environment. You say, how is that possible? Negative vibes. Negative vibes. A lot of you go any of these other places. And this was weird. I got, my wife got a, uh, my wife family. I got a friend. I got people that live in other places, right? More laid back, more suburban. It's like sometimes you start out struggling a little bit. You hang in there in a positive environment. You're going to start doing better. You're going to start doing better. Start doing better. It's the way it is. But you keep trying to live in these negative environments. There's nobody going to run me off. Yeah. Yep. And you're going to retire. And you're going to be one of them ones where I'm on a fixed income. Because you ain't going to be getting nowhere. You ain't going to get nowhere. And then they're going to be setting you back. They're going to be breaking in your garage. Might try to break in your house. Steal your cars. You can't save these guys. You can't save them. They got to save themselves by wanting to change and change it. You can't save them, Mr. Dreadlock, Mr. Red, Black, and Green. You can't save them. You can't save them. They in the dark. That's why I do these. They lost. You can't save them. And you putting your wife and your kids in danger by keep trying to cross paths with these people, trying to prove you down, prove all of whites. I ain't worried about them, I got guns too. Yeah, but liberal, 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 liberal judges, liberal this, liberal that, they don't like guns, you defend yourself, you don't know how they gonna judge it in court. So, yeah, you got guns, but you still gotta be careful who you cross paths with. Because you just don't know. You might be somebody that want to give a criminal a monument. 
And that's all I'm going to say on this one. It's the truth, man. Darkness edition. Talking about the loss. And talking about people who want to be found. Help, helping you find yourself. Helping you find salvation with the most high. Stop trying to live in these. Stop trying to live in these areas. It's time for an exodus. If you are who I'm talking about, though, if you are the ghetto person, if you are the person who just want to live a hood life, who think you're so progressive, this and that, we're not talking about you. Stay where you at. We're talking about people with kids, with families, who just want peace, just want to look up and see the sun shining, don't want to hear no gunshots, don't want to hear no avalanches. We're talking about you. Get out. And I'll see you on the next video.